hello everyone i hope you are all doing good in today's video i'm going to talk about what is a phoneme and what is an holophone we are going to discover how can we differentiate between phoneme and an holophone and that's a problem for all is for students who have an introductory uh, course in a language introduction to linguistics so i hope you i uh, will make the point uh, very clear to you so let's uh, go back to the point a phoneme is actually um, a contrastive meaning distinguishing sound in a language that means that a phoneme make uh, is a sound that make a difference in a language if we consider the example being in beam uh, these are two words that nearly pronounced the same but the two contrastive sounds n in the m made a difference in the meaning so that's why we call the two sounds the two contrastive sound two separate phonemes n and m are two separate phonemes because they make a change in meaning if we replace n for example with the m there will be a change in meaning right however the two forms being in beam are a good minimal pair because they are similar in everything except for one sound which is n and m. Let's hear the two sounds again. Bin, beam. So you, you can notice the different difference right now. Um, and uh, we can notice, we can conclude that uh, two separate phonemes uh, is a concept that always goes with a minimal peers, right? So let's move on now to a nolophone. What is a nolophone? Holophone actually is a different realization of the same phoneme. So here we can notice that we can say that a phoneme actually has different realizations or it has different, um, if we can say, pronunciations, right? So if we consider the two example, the, the three words that are here, we have soap, pool, and apple. If we want to analyze the sound p or the consonant p, we can say that we can we can note we can say that stop in the word stop p occurs word at the end of the of the word stop right. So it is p is here uh, a word finally. Whereas in this um, in the in the word apple, in the word apple, uh, p is uh, occurs between two vowels. It is preceded by a vowel and followed by a vowel. So p in the word pool, where it, uh, it occurs in, at the beginning of the word, so it is word initially. Plus, um, word initially, we have something that is uh, different from the other p. We have noticed that p. So as we have noticed, um, the p has different realizations according to its posi uh, positions in the word, in the words. So we have noticed uh, we can express this idea by using the chart. P, uh, the the phoneme p, becomes orally realized as the aspirated p when it occurs word initially. Whereas the phoneme p uh, becomes the the holophone p, I mean the normal p, when it occurs whether in a vowel, uh, between two vowels or word finally. So we can say that the normal p and p aspirated are holophones of the same the same phoneme p. The the phoneme p becomes the aspirated p. When it occurs word initially so that's all that's all about today's session and see you next week inshallah